Hello and welcome to a very special Nimbatus video. This is a request from a friend of mine on Discord, Dear S. Dear S, this video is for you. Usually I take my time and build a drone by myself, execute a task and then make a video out of it. But Dear S asked me to build the drone on screen, live from scratch. I already had planned to attempt to kill the snake boss on programmer hard difficulty. Upon his request, I decided to combine both ideas, build a drone from scratch and try to kill that thing. It took me 32 minutes to build a drone and kill the boss. Alright, time to check it out. Okay, the video is completely uncut, but there is no way I could do live commentary. As you probably noticed, English is not my first language and the commentary would have been very poor, mumbling and stuttering, so I had no choice to do voiceover to ensure the quality of the video. So programmer hard, ancient rune, let's go. Often I click around when I'm thinking. We'll start with a button. I'm gonna make a string. Obviously you can expect some moments of silence on this. Then I'll add I think a decoupler. I'm looking for it right now. I'm not that good with the menu yet. W. The other side, string as well. By the way, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I, I didn't know if it was going to work. And I had to work fast because I didn't want the video to last an hour. So because there's no gravity, I'm just putting a bunch of batteries and, and fuel. Don't have to worry about them falling or anything like that. Like this. So this is where I'm going to put my logic gates. I'm more, more, I'm more organized than I used to be. See, I just stuttered. Imagine 32 minutes of that. Where am I going to put that block? Okay. You're going to see this thing is going to be kind of hilarious at the end. Still looking at buttons there. A few printers. More than I need. That's going to change later. More plating because I, of course I'm expecting the snake to hit me. So I want HP. So the first step of course is to get into the ruins. Because you start outside if you remember. So st that's stage one. So I'm preparing for that. Camera. So I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm thinking, I think. Okay, I think I want to see how high. Yeah, I want to see how high I spawn compared to the floor and the ceiling. And they make you small spawn right in the middle. So I guess so far so good. Some thinking still. So I'm starting to look at logic gates. 
Because what I want to do is get into the rooms, then stop. So I can do other things. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'm not that fast with logic gates yet. I'm not an engineer, I'm not a programmer. I'm able to do the things, but I need time. And in this case, I was in a rush because, again, I was kind of limited in time. I still did it though. So for those who are not too familiar with logic gates, what I'm trying to do here, after I figure it out, there's a delay gate and a not gate. What's pushing my, my ship to the right in the first phase is the not gate. A button is assigned to my thrusters and the not gate outputs that button. But it has a condition. If it receives input from somewhere else, it stops outputting. That's why I have a delay gate. In the end, the delay gate will wait 10 seconds so that my ship can go to the right. Then it's gonna output to the NOT gate and the NOT gate will stop outputting anything. Therefore, my thrusters won't work anymore and my ship will stop. This is the best explanation I can give you. If I was doing live commentary, there's absolutely no way I would have been able to do that. Okay, let's go back to the construction, see where we're at. You'll notice that I like using LEDs, probably like many other people, just to test if my logic gate setup works. Right now I'm still trying to make this work. So it fails the test. It's the mapping that's wrong right now, but I'll figure it out. I'm gonna speed up this part. It's the only part I'm fast forwarding. Because here I'm just thinking and nothing happens. Okay, now I start working properly. That's something I should have done way earlier. Using tags really helps you understand what you're doing with your gates. I learned a lot from making this video. And one of the things I'm going to do in the future is really improve what I would call my tag discipline. I'm going to tag everything, even if I have a simple concept to avoid being confused like I was earlier in the video. On my programmer survival last mission video, my whole keyboard was pretty much binded. When you're at a point where you're using backspace, comma, and dot, it's a sign that you have a lot of logic gates and I use almost no tags. In a future video, we're gonna go over that drone in details and I'm gonna have to tag everything to refigure out how everything works since there's no notes at all. I thought about fast forwarding a bit again here, but in a few seconds things are gonna start picking up. There you go, that's the proper keybind. Everything's right, but the LED has the wrong keybind. So I'll fix it and then we'll go to the next step. Moment of truth. Hey, now it's working. Excellent, finally. So now the button E is the output. So what I have to do is just assign E to each of the thrusters. And this way it's gonna stop after the amount of seconds that decide. I'm putting in a camera because I'm about to test it. So I'm gonna put it a short time just to do a test flight on the on the testing site. And look at that, it stops. Very nice. So what I'm gonna do now, I think I'm gonna add some thrusters uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I'm adding thrusters to have more speed. Uh, because of the limitation of the delay gate, it's uh, 10 seconds. So I add more thrusters. Of course, I could probably attach multiple delay gates in a complicated way, but why? All I have to do is add thrusters. And now I'm testing it in the, in the arena for the first time. And we're finally gonna see it enter, then stop. 
hits the wall but it doesn't matter look it stopped so I was very pleased with that so here I I changed the time but I forgot that the ship is going to be much bigger so it doesn't really matter how much time I put I already know it works but okay uh, I reduced the time so let's look at it again a bit of a useless test but that's that's part of the trial and error and look look at me about to do another test until I realize wait a minute that's useless let's go to the next step and now things are gonna get interesting so I'm thinking a bit and you're gonna see yeah let's start let's start making this thing bigger so the concept I had in mind originally I said I'm gonna make so many drones that the boss can only target one right and I'll make them reproduce themselves over and over again and they're just gonna shoot blindly and it should work so that's the concept I had in mind from the very beginning so that's what I'm, be, I'm gonna be working on so for the for the printer sorry I'm putting the button Q uh, which is the button Q Y again the, the reason why I'm using a button Q is because I want to wait 10 seconds before I start decoupling the W button is constantly working from the very beginning so I cannot use that there's a few printers that are useless but I'm, I'm gonna fix that so you see me thinking a little bit so I'm starting to replace some of the useless printers like this making a little bit of space starting to take shape so I'm looking here just to see if it flies in a stable way and here I think I realize there's two printers that are also useless so the two uh, drones on the edges do not need a printer on the inside That's what I'm realizing right now, I think. There you go. And the other one. There you go. I did this to show you something, but all right so uh okay so this thing can print two two drones so i'm thinking again because i have a question the question is how wide is my ship compared to the space i have and look at that i have a lot of more space i don't have enough drones i want more drones it's not enough so let's make more I want <laughs> I want to be I want to make sure I, su I succeed so let's make more that's what I'm doing this thing this thing is gonna be uh, I don't even have any word to describe how it's gonna be at the end so that's what I'm working on making it bigger you know what like I told uh, one or two people so far optimization is never my goal my goal is to get the job done what's the task kill the boss alright I'll kill the boss maybe it'll be ugly but I'll do it right now it's turning by the way uh, that's because there's a uh, imbalance in weight it's the it's the printer in the bottom that's why it's turning 
I'll realize that eventually. I'm thinking right now. More thinking. Spacing them out a bit. So that's, I think I spaced them out to, to see uh, again the height, see if it fits. Yeah. So we're going to test that, see how wide it is. Yeah, look at that. But it's turning still. That's where I realized I'm going to have to put some plating on the bottom. There you go. Now it's stable. Look at that. Nice and straight. So what else? Well, it's time for the next step. Um, these, these guys are going to have to decouple, but then they have to move around. They cannot just sit there, right? So I'm going to make another set of logic gates that will make my drones move around. So that's a long impulse giver, very simple, every X amount of time. It uh, gives uh, output. So I'm going to make a setup that I, uh, that I did on the survival last mission on programmer and I remembered it so this this time is going to be much smoother for logic gates than last time so this is an end game there's a button that's constantly being pushed right now which is Q the end game the end gate sorry about that does uh, say if both buttons are pushed then I'm gonna do output so all I have to do is put one and Q See, I look, uh, I look at it myself to make sure. 1 and Q. If 1 and Q is pressed, then I'm going to output 2. 2 will be assigned to thrusters. So every time it impulses, it's going to make my ship's turn. Now I'm removing cameras because I'm going to be testing this setup with the LEDs. And look at that. It works. First try. First try. So the other setup was simpler. It took me forever. But this one is more complicated. And I got it right away. I was pretty happy about that. And now it's time to put some thrusters. But I have to make a decision. And uh, you're going to see some thinking going on here. See, The question is, where do I send my drones? They have to separate because the bus, the bus will will aim at one drone. They have to be separated, otherwise it could be trouble. So I, I'm gonna make them go out in all sorts of directions, and that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. So here, I think I was wondering if I should put one in front of the printer or not, but. I realize it doesn't matter because they'll be separated. So I'm figuring this thing out. I'm also thinking about the others, not just this one. So okay, I decide that this guy is gonna go up. One second, so it's gonna be one second impulses. And I decided to test it out to see if it uh, if it's gonna work. Yeah, 
Look at that. When I saw that, I knew this is going to be a success. I, I could feel it. Now, now I'm going to put thrusters uh, on every one. So this guy's going to go down. I was at this point I was pretty excited. I said, finally, finally, I think I'm going to be able to make it. So you're going to see me put thrusters on each. So I'm trying to make a decision. So this guy's going to go straight. Well, this guy and the other guy. So these are going to go straight. Thrusters for this one. I'll do the same for the the one on the bottom. It's going to go straight as well. And then I have to decide the middle one, where does he go? He cannot go straight because there's a wall. And I want I want them to be separated. So after a few seconds of thinking, I just did this. I wasn't sure what it would work right away, but I said I'm gonna test it and see how how, how it's gonna be. So now I'm testing this and see what happens. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, this, this, this thing is just... Now I'm just all excited to go test it right away in the, in the bus zone. So I go there and then... Oops. Oh, yeah. Not enough seconds on my delegate. Eight point five seconds for now. I'm gonna have to go higher later because this thing is gonna need weapons, right? So let's look at it go. Yeah, I'm in the boss zone now, and look at these guys going. So I'm gonna let it run for a while and see how. <laughs> you see the snake coming up, <laughs> and uh, so he hits one, and I'm just dancing around doesn't even kill it this is on hard mode by the way look at that they're just dancing around as this here's a just got an explosion because it's trying to decouple right beside the wall and uh, I think when I see the main one decouple again I will be satisfied with this test it's about to happen I think we look at the bus it doesn't even know what to do No, and also big decoupling with a lot of destruction and all sorts of things are reproducing. I said, okay, I think I think this is gonna be, uh, I think this is gonna be working. And now I was all excited. I said, I need to arm this thing as fast as possible. So let's make batteries right now. And I'm gonna put them as fran frantically as I can. I don't think I put enough, but since they recharge i'm u i'm going to be using uh, my signature uh, rocket launcher setup well i'm probably not the only guy to do that but i do that uh so even if the battery is depleted it's, it still shoots but less that's just to see if uh for some reason it's unstable but it does no gravity i don't even know why i tested that So here I'm doing some thinking, I'm not sure. So yeah, so I'm going to put uh, cameras on each, uh, just in case uh, something gets destroyed or I want them to be all identical. It's going to cause problem for viewing the action though, but there's nothing I can do, I think. So I'm doing some more thinking here. Because the question is, how do I how do I uh, set up the weapons? I already knew which weapon to use, which setup to use as well. But where do I put them? So that's what I'm thinking about right now. And I'm clicking around because I'm looking for the rotating thing. By the way, I did this at like 3 a.m. or something, so I was getting a bit tired. 
and uh, free hinge yeah free hinge I'm sure it's gonna work great I'm sure it's gonna work beautifully so uh, I'm missing an upgrade on this but I don't have of course it's the normal game so I don't have uh, infinite money unfortunately I cannot afford uh, what is oh yeah 50% attack speed so I'm gonna have to settle with less look I don't have enough unfortunately there you go. So at least they're upgraded a little more uh, attack speed. Now I'm gonna put four of them on this uh, useless part that I will realize if very soon that it's useless. And once I fix it, I can reproduce the f the four the signature four rocket launcher that I use. I, I like the fire ones. I like dots. I always like dots in every games. So I'm putting four of them. So I decided to use a W button. So it's, it's going to be shooting right off the bat. Even even if I run out of battery once again, it doesn't matter. And now, now I realize right away, whoops, I put the wrong thing here. They look alike, don't they? That's my excuse. Motorized hinge, that's what you need. Then I test it again. Ah, that's better. Now imagine a lot of those. So I said, okay, let's, let's arm this thing. So I started making a bunch. At first I put them not exactly evenly. They will really have to be put evenly, otherwise the ship uh, will go all over the place. But right now I'm just just checking how much I can fit. So there's a bunch of of them to add. So I'm going to create some more separation. I was secretly thinking of putting even more rocket launchers in between. But I said, I think I got enough. I think that's that's sufficient. I mean, I probably can kill the bus with just with that already, but only once it's stabilized. But I decided it's not enough. Let's make more. Why not? So here I, I almost put it on a thruster. That's not a good idea. I'm trying to put it on. A, there you go, on a block. And now it's time to make it nice and even. So I'm thinking a bit. So how do I do this? I come to the realization that I might have to so sacrifice one or two. Uh, rotating machines like this so this one is in the center I have no choice there's no space and this guy this guy nice and even it has to be stable then I t <laughs> look at this thing fly <laughs> It barely holds it. Look how many look how many rockets there are. If the boss survives this, I give up the game. So I'm all excited. I'm like, let's let's try it right now. Let's fight right now. Let's do this. Alright, let's go. Let's kill this boss. Yeah, let's do it. No. Oh no. Oh, there you go. Another Now I gotta fix the delay gate again. to 10 seconds how many times did I say it in this video and now it's time for the boss fight the long-awaited boss fight and it's gonna be quite something unfortunately the the camera work will not be perfect but you'll see enough action let's go let's fight so <laughs> okay it's, it's, it's just ridiculous look at this thing 
So, so I'm waiting to see the boss. I don't even know where he is. Here he is. Oh, he's getting lit up. He's getting lit up. In the meanwhile, I'm I'm still reproducing even more drones. So I'm waiting for him, or maybe he's scared, and I don't even know where he is. Where is he? We'll see him soon. See, it ch it changes cameras. I find this pretty annoying. If you don't mind in the comments below or in, on on Discord, if you have advice, is there a way? Now each camera has the same button though, but we can't even see what's going on now. We'll be lucky though. It's gonna go back to the center soon. But look, look, we don't see anything. I want to see what's going on in the middle. We'll be lucky. Look, look, it's gonna come, come back. And I don't even know why it switches by itself either. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> How is he gonna survive this? I don't know. I don't think he will. Do you think he will? I don't think so. Look how many. Like a brain dead zombies just mind. Uh, he just blew up. He just blew up. Now we're at the final phase. It's the head. There's no way surviving this. Look at this ridiculous thing. <laughs> oh, this is so, that, that's a lot of fun. I had so much fun doing it. Here's the head and comp it's getting completely demolished. Look at that. Boom. There you go. Programmer bus on hard. Done. Finally. So before we end, let's take a last look at the drone that did it. Let's zoom out. There you go. That's the drone. It doesn't have a name yet. This concludes the Nimbadus Programmer Survival Snake Bus on Hard plus full drone construction video. Thank you DRS for your request. I really had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'm very excited with the evolution of this channel. If you want to support it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Every subscription counts. Thank you for watching. See you next time.